This fluorescent tube is not plugged in, but it shines. To an inexperienced eye, it may seem like trickery or magic. The light, however, is not conjured in some obscure way. It results from the electric field of the power lines above me. Yet this simple demonstration conveys a deeper significance, the culmination of insight, prediction and experiment to make sense of the world around us. But history also reveals a struggle to prevail against stubbornness and superstition. Alongside the technical discussion, a variety of esoteric ideas concerning the concept of energy has emerged. Among the reoccurring themes are pyramid energy, perpetual motion machines and the general confusion with physics. To understand the errors made, we need a preliminary grasp of the mechanisms and models concerning energy. The term energy stems from the Greek energos, meaning at work. Since the early 19th century, the word energy is used to describe a physical quantity. Several forms of energy have been identified. Those include mechanical, electric, magnetic and radiant energy, the energy of chemical and nuclear bonds and heat. Of course, since Albert Einstein, we know that mass is also a form of energy. Any form of energy may be transformed into any other, but the total amount of energy remains constant in an isolated system. Formulated as the conservation of energy, this law governs all natural phenomena. Yet while transformations to heat are lossless, this does not necessarily apply in reverse. Weird as it may seem to explain this, we need to think of heat as a disorderly motion of molecules and atoms. So heat is a form of kinetic energy, and no heat would be complete stillstand. The concept to determine the structure of such a jiggling mess is entropy. In simple terms it is a measure of how many ways we can rearrange a system's constituents and still keep the system the same. No matter how we jumble up the individual bits, our mass of jiggling particles will remain basically the same. So in the language of entropy, it has a high entropy. On the other hand, perfect order is easily disturbed by the minutest change. Thus it has a low entropy. And any further change is far more likely to increase this order than to restore perfection. Just as ice melts and mortar crumbles, order tends not to remain. Nature always seeks out high entropy. There's a trend towards heat, and no engine, however elaborate, can violate this fundamental property. As a result, there's no possibility of a perpetual motion machine. Despite a less than agricultural understanding, proponents of esoteric ideas have apparently also developed a love of fields and their rather amusing endeavors to confuse this well-defined physical concept usually end plowing straight into this pesky stumbling block called reality. In the real world, a field describes the distribution of a physical quantity. We differentiate two major types. A scalar field associates a scalar value at every point in space. In physics, a scalar stands for a physical quantity that is independent of direction, like temperature or pressure. The vector field assigns a vector to every point in space. A vector has a magnitude and a direction. In the picture, the compass needles point in the direction of the magnetic field and the magnitude would be the pull of the magnet. Electric and gravitational fields are also vector fields. Equipped with the basics, we can now understand the phenomenon I showed in the introduction. The electric potential between power line and ground creates an electric field. The voltage and thus the field oscillate with a frequency of 50 Hz. In this illustration we consider an instant with maximum voltage. Being a vector field, an electric field exerts a force on charged particles. By convention the electric field points from the positive to the negative potential. Electrons are accelerated towards the positive, ions towards the negative potential. Within the fluorescent tube a small fraction of atoms is initially ionized due to thermal excitation or ionizing radiation. These particles are accelerated and collide with other atoms, creating a cascade of ionized particles. When ions and electrons recombine, the excess energy is sent out as photons. Those photons are detected by the photoreceptors in our eyes, and the invisible is made visible. 
we tend to populate the voids of our understanding with ambitions and desires. False certainty, stubbornness and superstition are still a burden. Simplistic notions may be convenient, but reality has a habit of catching up with us. There might still be an elusive source of energy, or some field that permeates our world. And with curiosity, research and a bit of luck, we may discover and understand the unknown. Just like a fluorescent tube in an electric field, reason illuminates the dark.